Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. The next release of SolidWorks, version 2012, is gearing up for its debut. It's currently in pre-release code. Among its new features is something called costing. It's a module you can use to figure out how much it might cost to manufacture a sheet metal part or a machinable part. The software comes pre-loaded with a couple of templates. These are pre-built calculators you can use to get estimates on your parts based on the number of bands or pockets they involve. So let's have a look at a sheet metal part, for example. Once you launch the costing command, right under tools here, the software begins calculating the production cost based on the default values in the template. By the way, SolidWorks is intelligent enough to recognize the difference between a sheet metal part from a machinable part. So you'll only get the right applicable command for costing when you launch a particular part. The default template for costing, of course, is just for guidance. My guess is many manufacturers have their own suppliers with a history of price quotes for typical operations involved. So to get a much more accurate estimate, they'll probably want to create their own cost templates by editing the default one and inputting their own data. Production costs are updated in real time instantaneously. So when you switch material, change the thickness of your part, or increase or decrease the stock material block size, you'll see how your decision affect your bottom line instantly. Some of you skeptics might say, well, I can hand calculate all these costs. So this is just a fancy calculator embedded inside a 3D modeling program. All it does is automate the calculation. Well, even if that is all it does, I have to say the ability to change your design's geometry and instantaneously get an update on its impact on cost is huge. Because in some cases, the real cost drivers may not necessarily be what you think. SolidWorks costing in its current incarnation works only on parts, but like its predecessor Sustainability Express and SolidWorks Sustainability, I'm pretty sure SolidWorks has planned to support assembly cost estimation with the ability to roll up part cost into a grand total. With this module, you can generate a bunch of different scenarios, maybe the same part made in steel or iron, maybe with a slightly smaller diameter, then compare their cost. And if you do need to convince your boss that what you're proposing makes sense for his or her budget, you can automatically generate an HTML report and submit it to his or her desk. This is the beginning of our coverage of SolidWorks 2012. So look for more to come. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong, making sense of dollars and cents in SolidWorks costing.